And now at six, a mother and son targeted by hate in their home and on their car vandalized with racist remarks. The mother says that they've been targeted three times now in a little more than two weeks. Good evening, I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. She is convinced it's because she's white and her son isn't. Ken McLeod's live in Derry, New Hampshire tonight with the story all new at six. Ken? Lisa, this is Scobie Pond Road in Derry, and this is the driveway basketball court where Jacqueline Stimson, a former college player herself, taught her young son to throw up the hoops. The memories here were all good until just a couple of weeks ago. The driveway basketball hoop is all fun for this seven-year-old boy, but in the last two weeks, the interracial youngster has seen hate delivered to his doorstep, and his mom has tried to explain. I wasn't ready to talk about this. I didn't think we'd have to talk about it so early, but it, you know, at the end of the day, I said, hey, buddy, you know, you're awesome. You did nothing wrong. It began October 21st when someone keyed Jacqueline Stimson's car in the driveway with the phrase, N-word lover. Several days later, it was N-word go home, scrawled on what looks like a chunk of wooden barricade and tossed into the front yard. I don't understand this thinking at all. I didn't know it still existed. This is a very unusual thing to occur in Derry. In fact, it never happens. So we have some work to do. Indeed, Jacqueline had decided to stay silent and let police work the hate crime until last night. That's when someone pummeled her car with fried chicken and watermelon, the infamous racial stereotype of the Old South. It's silly that they don't have anything better to do with their time than to pick on the color of somebody's skin. She's told her son to stand tall and proud and has gone public with her ordeal with the hope other citizens of Derry will rally against racism. We're not sorry and we're not afraid. But she's also installed security cameras with the hope of catching the hate mongers on their next visit. I want them to be to know how shameful it is what they did and how how ignorant. Neighbors apparently saw nothing on those three nights, and right now Jacqueline is reviewing her video from last night to see if it captured anything useful. Police, in the meantime, are asking anyone with info to step forward. Live in Derry, New Hampshire tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.